product of any two digit number this is two if two digit number is there if you want to product it you have to apply the shortcut method whatever we are gonna teach now if this is a two digit number 47 and if you want to multiply it with 63 I will tell you what is the procedure and you have to do the first step is like you have to multiply 7 into 3 the first step is multiplying the first column that is 7 into 3 that will gives you the answer 21 carry is 2 second step is you have to cross multiply and you have to add 4 into 3 12 6 into 7 42 so 4 into 3 and 6 into 7 and you have to add 12 and 42 that will be 54 then carry 2 is there that will be 56 now carry is 5 the last step is you have to multiply this 2 4 into 6 24 already carry 5 is there 24 plus 5 29 the steps I repeat the first step is like you have to make multiply the first column 7 into 3 and the second is about you have to take all the numbers cross multiply and you have to add that is 4 into 3 plus 6 into 7 then last step is about the last column another column that is 4 into 6 and you have to add carry accordingly so this will be the procedure to calculate product of any two digit number the first step will be like this then you have to cross multiply and you have to add the last step is the last column 1 2 and then 3 these three steps you have to follow when you are making a product of any two digit number this is about finding product of any two digit number the next one is about product of any three digit number if you want to multiply any two three digit number for example if the numbers are like 312 and 416 in the initial time the procedures may look little complicated by practice you can make it as in your mind itself the first step is like you have to make the first column you have to multiply and you have to include the second column also whenever two column comes you have to cross multiply and you have to add and the third step is like you have to add all the three that time you have to cross multiply and you have to add fourth step is eliminating this one and last step is eliminating this also I will explain one by one first step you are multiplying 2 and 6 this is about the first step and the second step is about 12 and 16 and the third step is about the whole number all the number it is present there 3 1 2 4 1 6 fourth step we are removing this one 3 1 and 4 1 fifth step is about only 3 4 just see the number first step what I had done 2 6 alone multiply and the second step I included the another one third step I included all the things after including all the things I am subtracting the last column in the fourth step and I am subtracting this also the last step arrives so first step 2 into 6 that will be 12 carry is 1 the next step 1 into 6 6 1 into 2, 2, 6 plus 2, 8, already carry 1 is there. So, answer is 9. Third step is about 3 into 6, 18. 4 into 2, 8. 18 plus 8, 26. 26 plus 1, 27. Now, carry is 2. Fourth step is about 3, 1 and 4, 1. This two columns you have to multiply. Fourth step is about 3, 1, 4, 1. That is 3 into 1, 4 into 1. That is 3 plus 4, 7, 7 plus 2, 9. Last step is about 3 into 4, that is 12. So, this is the procedure to calculate any three digit number multiplication. You can remember like by adding one column, the next column, and the third column. So, three steps. And last two steps, eliminating this one and eliminating this one all the five steps by practice it will come whatever may be the three digit number you can follow this method to find the product of any three digit number it involves five steps whereas the two digit number involves three steps so this is about finding the product of any three digit number